In this video, we're going to be talking about how to style things you already have, because I know that so many of you have got pieces in your wardrobe that you want to be able to wear, and you just want to freshen them up and have some new ways of wearing them. So I've come here today with Liz, and we're gonna be having a look through her wardrobe so that we can give you some tips on some of the things that she's already got and how to restyle them. So before that, I'm just going to ask her a few questions about the issues that she's got with her wardrobe so we're going into spring summer and I know that you've had a little bit of a route through your wardrobe to see what you've already got what were the big problems that you came up with well mostly um, I've lost a little bit of weight since last year and um, most of my trousers don't fit anymore unfortunately um, because I've lost weight, sadly, I've also now got the <clears throat> bit of granny arm thing going on. And where I've been used to wearing sort of sleeveless tops, I now don't, at my age, I'm now starting to feel a bit more uncomfortable about showing the tops of my arms. Um, although I am intending on working on that a little bit. Um, so it's really the fact that a lot of the bottom parts are too big for me um, and I don't really know where to start I think my style has changed a little bit from what it was because it was um, at home casually probably gardening quite a lot and now I'm likely to be out and about sort of living life a little bit more so you want a few more sort of smart casual things I do and things yeah. that you can perhaps dress up or things that you can wear casually, but if you do get invited out for lunch or something like that, you can add something just to, to make it look a little bit more special. Yeah. And I don't ever feel comfortable being overly dressed. I'm more of a, I mean, as you can see, I'm wearing jeans and a sort of, you know, tracky type top. That's my smart casual style, but I would like to maybe uplift it a little bit so that it's not quite so at home. Yeah. As you say, it's, it's a little bit more suitable for going out as well. Okay. And um, did you find anything that you really liked in your wardrobe that you want to think about how to wear off more? Or is it more a case of getting some new ideas and what should you buy this season? In the summer, I quite like wearing a dress. I do, I've, because you don't have to go through that tights thing. Yeah. And you can just wear flatties with it or trainers or whatever. And I have got, um, I've got a couple of sort of ruched top dresses because they work really well, um, reasonably sized busted. So they work quite well on me. So we want to find things that you'll be able to take into seasons going forward, but just to freshen it up a little bit. So it might be that, there's a couple of pieces that would be key pieces for this season that perhaps you don't need to spend too much money on, but they'll fill a gap. And then the things which we're going to carry forward into other seasons are going to be more of your investment pieces. Yeah, okay, that sounds good. And then things like um, shoes, because the shoe trends are changing as well, and it's what to wear with different trousers or different skirts. Yeah, again... I'd love to be able to wear something with a little bit more height to it, but I struggle because of an ankle break, and so I do tend to wear flats all the time. And again, it's more difficult to get those to look stylish. Yeah. So it's finding things that are stylish that look a little bit different, and as you say, maybe give it a bit of an edge yeah. that sort of dresses up the outfit. Okay, so I think a lot of what Liz has said is a lot of what I've heard from many of you. Things like um, smart casual, but you know, you, you, you don't want to dress up too much, but you want things that you can adapt a little bit. Um, things like shoes, especially, I know a lot of you have said to me you don't wear heels anymore, you want something that's going to be comfortable, but you still want it to be stylish. Yeah. yeah. Um, and just making sure that you've got things in your wardrobe that you're going to get wear from and good value from, but we don't want them to be dated. We no. still want to perhaps add in a few key pieces each season just to, to update and freshen up our look a little bit. So we're going to go upstairs into Liz's wardrobe. I'm going to have a route through <clears throat> and pull out a few pieces and then we're going to put some 
outfit ideas together. I've brought along a whole load of accessories and a couple of different jackets and things so that we can have a little play. And then we'll also talk about what I think would be some really good key pieces that she could add to her wardrobe. And I'm sure they will be the kind of things that would be useful for you as well. So stay tuned and um, we're gonna move upstairs into the wardrobe. So I've had a good rummage around through Liz's spring summer pieces and um, she hasn't got a lot that fits her as far as trousers and bottom pieces are concerned but we've pulled out a few pieces that do work and I'm going to put some outfit ideas together and give her a little bit of advice about what might really work in here. So um, luckily she has got quite a few neutral pieces in here. Now Liz has got a warm skin tone, so um, these kind of neutrally warm colours, the oranges, the, the um, greens, all work really well on her. So my um, recommendation would be to kind of build the wardrobe around these colours and when she's adding in colour, to bring in maybe some more of these greens, peaches, that kind of thing, because they look so nice on her. And to be honest with you, the neutral pieces she's doing quite well with, so probably doesn't need too much more of that. So a couple of pieces which you might have in your work wardrobe that you could work around as well. So starting with, um, I know she's only just bought these trousers. It's a pair of these um, kind of slightly straight leg trousers with the um, piping down the side of them, the side stripe. These are from Next and um, they do these everywhere. So these are a great foundation for a spring wardrobe and this is the kind of thing that looks really good with a pair of trainers. Now she does have a really nice pair of trainers as well that she can put with those. And then she does have this plain t-shirt in the wardrobe which will work with those but we really kind of want to just make it a little bit more interesting. So what I might do is something like um, cover the waistband with one of these elasticated belts. Now this one is just from Amazon, it came in a pack of four, um, four different colourways, really inexpensive. So quite a nice easy way to add to the wardrobe and then maybe put a necklace or a pendant or something like that on it and perhaps a crossbody bag. So I would go with something again, sort of picking up the neutral, something like that or alternatively, perhaps going with a cream one. And then with this one, I've put a strap on it so it sort of picks up on those neutral colours. Now I'm gonna pop some pictures in um, of Liz wearing some of these outfits that we're putting together. Now she also has these sort of um, floaty jersey trousers, which I think for the summertime will be really great on their own they need a good eye and we will do that before she puts them on um, for the outfit but on their own not particularly exciting but I think we can really make these a little bit more fun so first of all she has got this top which will work really well with those and now what I might do with these is add a pair of those new sort of Mary Jane ballet flats so I've brought these along these are from um, Mint Velvet and that would really kind of modernise these trousers. And then perhaps again, I'd put a long pendant with it or even add perhaps a scarf with it like that. Again, that t-shirt would work with it, picking up on those colours, the sort of rust at the bottom of the scarf there. Now, the other thing that's really popular at the moment is these kind of knitted, um, they're kind of a cross between a cardigan and a jacket and something like that, which on the cooler days is absolutely ideal to go with any of the trousers that you've got in your wardrobe. This one is a cotton blend. It was only 27.50, but this kind of crochet is really on trend at the moment. And again, that cream colourway will just go with absolutely everything. Now, one of the other things about Liz's wardrobe and what she's got in here is that she has got quite a bit of a mishmash of colours in where she has got colour. 
um, and she has got a few different prints as well. So as I said in my um, video last week, what you want to do is try and have a look at what the common denominators are in those colours. Now, um, she has got this lovely lime green puncho here, and with something like that, I'd put that with a neutral, with white or with cream. It really looks sort of fresh and beautiful for spring. And she could very easily pop that over these trousers, which um, she has just added. These are from Marks and Spencers. They're a tapered high rise, uh, £29.50. And then with that, I maybe pop a pair of... Um, white trainers would look really nice and again either a pendant on there or a crossbody bag especially because um, Liz is like me she is quite full in the bust and so with something like this where you're wearing a higher neck it's a really good idea to have say a long pendant like I have here creating that V neckline because to be honest with you um, I prefer a round neck to a v-neck. I think they somehow just look a little bit more modern. But of course, when you've got a fuller bust, you're always being told that you should wear a v-neck. So um, that's my way of sort of creating that v rather than wearing a v-neck top. There's another little knit here again, which she's added to her wardrobe. This one is again from Marks and Spencer's Peruna. This was £35 lovely little knitted top and these knitted tops have been really popular this season. The other option is to go for something which is like a polo style shirt so with the collar and the v-neck um, in a fine knit something that perhaps is a mix of cotton and silk that's really popular because those sort of fine knits again work really well if you have got a fuller bust and of course as the weather is getting warmer they're not quite so warm to wear but this one I think will look lovely again with um, the neutral trousers that she's got here and I also found these trousers in her wardrobe again another really nice sort of lightweight pair of trousers in um, a kind of animal print something again that never dates I'm sure you might have something like this in your wardrobe but sort of popping it on with something like that and again modernizing it with that those ballet flats if you wanted to wear it with more of a simple vest style she could do that and then pop over that little cardigan that I showed you earlier and again pair it with her trainers now she did say that these trousers might be a little bit big on the waist for her so again that's where something like that elasticated belt would come in really useful because it would um, cinch the waist in now she has got a couple of these little vest tops in here as well which will be really useful because again she's got one in the sagey green and she's got one in this lovely sort of um, kind of a soft navy so if you're somebody who is lighter in colouring like Liz is these kind of slightly softer navies work really well for you rather than something very dark and so these sort of tops are really good to have as foundation pieces in pieces in the wardrobe because they will go with any of these trousers and we can then start sort of pulling outfits together by pairing one of those um, little vest tops with the white trousers. What I might recommend is that she gets a lightweight perhaps longer line linen cardigan that she could wear over this kind of thing and again she could get it in white or um, an ivory that would go with those uh, neutral trousers or perhaps even if she found something in that softer navy or in the sage green that would bring a bit more of that colour into the wardrobe for her. Now she does have a pair of print trousers in here as well which will work with that um, sage green top and these have got white in them so of course she can pair white with them in the summertime or something like this little knit top which she's actually carried through from the autumn um, and she was wearing this over long sleeve tops but again she could pop that over a shorter sleeve t-shirt because as she said she doesn't really want to be showing the top of her arms but something like this with a short sleeve t-shirt underneath it would work quite well as well. And then one really useful piece that she has got in here is a pair of, um, they are a jeans shape, 
but they're not denim they're a cotton trouser and of course these cotton sort of jean style trousers are really useful to have in the wardrobe so if you have got something like this there are lots of different ways that you can wear them so we could roll the legs up and wear them with a trainer um, we could again pair them with the ballet flat we could put them with a pair of loafers and equally she's got these lovely sort of bronze sandals in here that we could put that with she's got this really nice sort of satiny um, vest top and we could dress that outfit up a little bit perhaps even put a bronze coloured belt on there and she could mix and match this um, vest top with those trousers and then again pair it with that uh, with that cream cardigan because obviously navy and cream is a great um, spring staple. Now I know some of you are going to be saying well those two colours aren't the same that's absolutely fine you can wear a colour like this tone on tone and then what I would probably do is look for an accessory that would pull those two blues together maybe a necklace that's got multi colours of blue in it I'm going to have a look through Liz's jewellery and see what she's got when we start styling up some of these outfits or maybe it's a scarf that's got the two different colours of blue in it and again she's got a couple of dresses in here this was one of the ones that she mentioned to us earlier with that sort of ruching on the bus that she finds works really well for her now you might look at that and think well there's not much in the wardrobe that um that goes with that but it has got some of those neutral colors in it and it has got this lovely sort of um coral in it it's got a little bit of a kind of mustard in it so it has got a lot of her good warm colors in there as well so something like that I think if she wanted to dress that down I might even pair that with the trainers or even pop something like this sort of um, more relaxed cotton jacket over it. Now this isn't somebody who is um, going to be a blazer person, but we all need a jacket in the springtime. So something like this little cotton jacket, and again, there are loads of these around in different shapes. So you can find one that will suit your body shape, but something like this, which um, this one's from uh, White Stuff, um, would work really well over a lot of these pieces and it kind of adds that finishing touch and then what I might do with that is kind of just pop the collar a little bit and put one of these scarves underneath there and she could even wear it with those neutral trousers as well so I think we've got a good basis here to create quite a lot of outfits and I'm going to see how many we can put together but there definitely are some gaps that need filling here so I would say that she doesn't perhaps, as I said, need too much more in that sort of cream beige colourway, but perhaps she needs a little bit more colour to fill out some of the other bits. I think she needs some more trousers or perhaps skirts in here. Um, it's the bottom half that she's, she's lacking in. And I'm going to have a look online and see what else I could find that would add into these pieces just to give her a little bit more variety. So as well as the accessories and the jacket that I've added in there, I also found this lovely little kimono jacket, which I thought would be really good for arm coverage, but still lightweight. And it's got those greens and the corals that I mentioned in there that I think would be so pretty to add to this wardrobe. And then because the white linen shirt worked so well as a jacket as well, I thought um, we could add in a green version as well, just to give a little bit of variety variety and then I found two pairs of coloured trousers one is just a jean and the other one is a chino so both quite relaxed styles but just to add that extra pop of colour to the wardrobe and finally I thought it'd be really nice to add in a skirt as well so I found this print skirt that picks up on the colours as well and here are a few more outfits that I was able then to create with those pieces that I added in with the bits that she's already got. So the cardigan she already had, the little vest tops, and I've just added in the green trousers there, um, the little ballet pumps, which um, I brought along for her to try, which I think are gonna be a great addition to the wardrobe because they just modernize everything and they give it that stylish touch that she was looking for, but still being a flat shoe. So a few more options there for her, which I think are going to work really well for her. 
So I hope you found that useful, me just talking through some of the bits that she's got that you might have in your wardrobe too and how you could work with those and what sort of things you might think about adding. And if you did like the video, please do give it a thumbs up. Um, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell so that you get notified when a new video is released. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.